once we cross this bridge we'll have to blow it up remain on one side up a creek without a paddle down a tree with a cushion of fresh air on this side there will be no sides just awareness Peace. Um, I would go by Galtung, who made already in the 1960s a distinction between negative peace and positive peace. And negative peace is the absence of manifest violence. So, you know, the lack of rioting and killing and maiming and the spectacle of violence that we're so used to. Positive peace, that's the real peace. Uh, and that is the absence of structural violence. And Galtung defines structural violence as the violence in the normality of things, the violence in structures, the violence in the way we organize our society. So sort of more the, 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 the diffuse, indirect ways of violence that, for instance, you know, poor health care, um, poverty, underdevelopment. People die because they have lack of access to health care. So they actually die. They die younger because they have a bad food diet. If there is an absence of that kind of violence, that is, that is when we can speak of peace compathane to feel with the other uh, or to endure something with something else to put yourself in other people's shoes in, in um, Arabic it's Rahman and that's related to the word for womb so uh, it brings in mother love and the idea of the mother and the child is a sort of central compassion it's uh, what makes us most human hu humane but it's hard work uh, a mother has to get up every night to her crying child however exhausted she is she has to put her own needs to one side and be responsible and know what's happening to that child for every second of the day a mini second something terrible can happen uh, and then that cute little baby uh, grows up and can become a horrible disappointment but really the mother doesn't give up and there's a buddhist prayer uh, that says, let us cherish all creatures as a mother, her only child. We have to have that same sense of responsibility for other people uh, as a mother has for her child, for all creatures, uh, all species. Um, and this is, this, this is a religious requirement and it's hard work. In, for Buddhism, the word karuna, it means to take responsibility for the pain of others and to work actively to, he, to assuage the suffering of the world. So it's not just a question of saying, oh, I really empathize with your uh, feeling today. Uh, it, 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 it must issue in, in, in practical, realistic, and creative action. So tell my kids, what bright yana days a road in days a tide? Varum, have you used as your hours? And it said, Mama, the favorite is out flays is flays. The favorite is out haze is haze. Ten times men of new heboran is, can I say, um zig bar live and it zig. Um vet me to wait, but your live is bestemming this. Mutia terukir, and that he zig that he drew for your heboran. Peace, to work for peace, to be pacific. To be a pacifist is not a passive life. That there, there is only peace through activity. There's only peace through a kind of industrious energy. That you build peace, you construct peace, you live peace. It's not about doing nothing. That doing nothing is not peaceful. Doing nothing is just being inert. Peace requires movement and action and, 
and construction and, and thoughtfulness.